hello friends welcome to my youtube channel in today's video i will show you how to create a nano server right so uh, i will open the pc this pc i have already mounted the iso image of windows server 2016 let's open this click on nano server nano server image generator and i will copy these three files and I will paste it inside new volume D. Before pasting it, uh, let's create one folder and give it a name nano, right? And I will paste these three commands inside the folder name nano. Okay, now we have to open Windows PowerShell and I will uh, write the first command import module give the path of the folder nano nano server image generator dot psm1 and hit enter okay now uh, we have to set the location of this folder in my case the location is d uh, colon uh, slash nano so we'll write a command set location D nano and hit one second. And hit enter. Okay. Uh, now we have to generate a VSD for nano server. Uh, later we will use this disk for creating Hyper-V machine. And we'll try to boot uh, with the VSD which we are generating, right? So let's write the command command is new nano server image edition standard I'm using a standard edition and the media media path is in my case it is e base base path base path is d okay so now we have to uh, run this command which is new nano server image and i am using ed standard edition and media path is e and base path is d slash nano and target path is d nano and nano server dot vsdx deployment type guest and computer name nano and hit enter we have to uh, enter the password administrative password and hit enter so now as you can see uh, converting image copying files it is it is processing and you can see the changes which is happening over here right it's saying converting image our operation is running uh, this command is saying adding package microsoft nano server guest package adding packages processing adding package microsoft nano server guest package it's saying adding packages, adding language package for Microsoft Nano Server guest package, and it's processing. Okay, now I will minimize this. Now, as you can see, the hard disk image is ready. So I will copy it from here. I will basically, I will cut it. Okay, now, uh, now I, what I will do is I will create a folder and the files of the nano server will save here. Okay, now what we have to do is we have, I will, now I will open the Hyper-V manager. I will right click on this 
click on new virtual Im machine click next uh, give the name to this virtual machine I will give it name a uh, nano and I will store this virtual machine in different location I want to save in dry vol new volume D under nano new new server nano server files so I will select this folder click on next I will use generation 2 click on next and I will use the dynamic memory for this virtual machine click on next uh, I will give it a virtual switch click on next okay uh, I, I use an existing virtual hard disk which we have created click on browse give the path of the virtual hard disk here it is nano server open click on next and you can read the name of the virtual machine is nano generation 2 memory is 1024 MB which is a dynamic memory network virtual switch hard disk this and dynamic dynamically expanding and we will click on finish now I will uh, start this machine I'll click on connect give the username password right now I don't want to give a domain name hit enter okay so now uh, we have to choose uh, I will choose the role in networking I will click on enter you can see here up and down for scroll escape for logout f5 for refresh control plus f f6 for restarting the machine uh, control plus f12 for shutdown and enter to select so I will hit enter okay uh, now I will hit again enter okay so as you can see DHCP is enabled I want to give the static IP to this machine so for that I will press F4 to toggle and again I will press F4 F11 now I will press F11 for the setting of IP version 4 and I want to disable the DHCP for that I will press F4 now this is disabled now I will give the IP address 192.168.2. Uh, for this I will give 30 right and the subnet mask will be 255.255.255.255 and the default gateway will be 192.168.2.1 and for saving this I will hit I will press enter okay as you can see operation succeed press enter or escape to continue okay now as you can see uh, the interface uh, under interface DHCP is disabled IP version 192.168.2.30 and the prefix origin is manual and suffix origin is also manual so now as you can see our machine is configured for setting up any role which we want to run on this on next video I will show you how to join the domain right to say stay tuned if you like the, my video do give a thumbs up and do subscribe to my channel Thanks for watching.